Hi there, this is Simon and this is Detective. It's an escape room kind of mystery game. It's similar to a couple other games. One is Undo, which I have uh, previously reviewed, not particularly that one. That one is coming, but you'll see a link to another one. And the other one that I've played recently and still on the uh, work thing through is Escape Tales Low Memory. Now I've got cartographers off to the side, which is why I'm actually re-recording this video. And what you do, and I'll be doing it spoiler free, you're going to be taking out the cards. Now, the back of this actually has a thing saying, don't worry, we're not going to spoil it. So you can see the back of it. And the inside front cover, back cover, shows you that Deckscape um, cards are also from this company. I have played uh, Deckscape before, and um, they are. I played the Heist in Venice, which was very good. But you're going to be trying to figure out um, this uh, this case. Now, this case is um, kind of predetermined, obviously, based on what's on the deck. But what you're trying to be working out is, um, you know, maybe the motive or the murder or something like that. And one of the first things you do, which makes this game so appealing, is you're going to set up the board. So you're going to take the box, put this inside that. You're going to put the river in here. You're going to be putting in... The, uh, you're going to have a bridge, which does fold completely flat again once it's back in the box, which is great. And then this goes in here, and you're making this 3D set, which is very cool. Now, in addition to this, I was going to say that what's great about this game, I find, is the fact that it's um, just really um, quite innovative in that respect. So the game is set up. And we actually happen to play this outside and you can kind of see this is like a Tudor house, Tudor mansion. And we're trying to figure out, well, what's gone down here. So the back of the box does give you some indication. There's something that's happened and we need to figure out what's happened. So the way it works is everyone's going to be given some cards. Now it's a one to six player game. In a two player example, you're going to be um, having three cards each. If you're playing it solo or solitaire, you get um, five cards. And what you're trying to do is you're going to have um, an archive. So for example, this is an archive, archive card of one. So you slot it under there. And the aim of the game is to basically have the cards between you. You can't look at your colleagues' cards, but what you can do is ask them about the title. So they might tell you that, but you can't see the picture or any other information about it. And the card will have something like this on it. It's going to have like a number. So you're going to need a certain amount of archive cards to play that card out. If you do have enough, you can play it, but you have to then make the decision of which cards you discard. So suddenly that narrative is around, well, what cards do we think aren't important to this case, based on what we know so far, to work out what could be relevant to whatever questions we might have to you know, deduce later on. So some cards um, will need more and more, so you're going to have to discard a lot. You'll have to try and remember what you've discarded because you can't tell your colleague. You can't use that as the kind of the opinion making for them. But at the at certain points, um, you, you might have other things to do. But ultimately, at uh, the end of the case, when you get through the rest of the cards, it's going to give you five questions to answer. Now, what you're going to be doing is placing one of these markers or a couple of these markers on certain areas. And then you're going to flip over and see what the answer is once you've done the five questions. Now, in terms of the kind of review and feedback um, so far in this game, some people have found that it was a little uh, too or easy, they felt. It's rated as about 5.9 on BGG I'd seen, which obviously does sound quite low. Having said that, I think it's because, having seen the comments, people found this a bit too easy. Now, there's obviously maybe a limitation in how you play this, maybe, or maybe they were quite lucky, those people who were you know, championing and stating such a such a case. But in my opinion, when we played, we didn't get a maximum score. We were one off a maximum score. And for that reason, it kind of has compelled us to be very curious about playing another one. In terms of, I think it's innovation, in terms of other games like Undo and Low Memory, it's sometimes difficult to know what is, a you know, the exact thing that they're trying to get at. You have some clues, but until you start getting some evidence, it's tricky to work out. I've already weighed this, it was 175 grams, and I think it's worth checking out. I think it's portable, you can only really play it once, but it's quite fun to actually see what other people do when they play and see how different you know they, they approach it. 
So if you want to check that out, that is Deck Detective. There's a new one coming out in 2020, that's this year. This one came out in 2019. But I think it's very interesting, and it'd be interesting to see what other concepts they come up with. And it might be even more challenging for the next one. Similarly, uh, Low Memory Escape Tales, that was um, is decidedly much more difficult, or at least we found, compared to other similar games. And I know that their original one was a little easier. So, yeah, I think that's a great introduction, and I hopefully found of interest. And check it out. Check out the comments and descriptions in YouTube. And by all means, put a, put a post a note in there, and I'll get back to you. That's the fastest way. And if you want to see some more videos, such as the other undo ones and other things coming soon, check out that, which it will be via the subscribe button to get it first. And finally, if you happen to find this of use, if you hit the like button, it lets me know that you're finding this content good. Cool. Thanks very much, and see you again soon. Bye-bye.